In this video, we're going to talk about characteristic equations. So it turns out that determinants and eigenvalues are related. So the characteristic equation is how we relate these. So what we have here is that the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. So that's going to be our equation. So if we have a matrix a equals to seven, two, negative two, three, if we find the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero, we're going to get an equation from it. So uh, we want the determinant of a minus lambda i, so this is going to be seven minus lambda, negative two, two, and this will be three minus lambda. Okay, so we want the determinant of this. Well, we know this is just ad minus bc, so we're going to get seven minus lambda, three minus lambda minus negative two times two. So we can expand this out. This is going to be 21 minus 10 lambda plus lambda squared. We're gonna subtract negative four, so we're gonna add four. So if we rearrange this, this will be lambda squared minus 10 lambda plus 25, which is just going to be equal to lambda minus five squared. So, we have our characteristic equation here. So what does this lead us to? Well, lambda minus five squared equals zero. So again, uh, we're finding the determinant equal to zero. So what this means is that we have our lambda equal to five. So I, want, I wonder why we chose lambda for this variable. Well, let's, let's take a look here. We say that a scalar lambda is an eigenvalue of a if the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to zero. So here I have a matrix in upper triangular form, which is 4116. So we know that the eigenvalues of this matrix are going to be 4, 1, 1, and 6. So now I want to show that the determinant of a minus lambda i will give us that. So it'll give us lambda equal to 4, 1, 1, and 6. Okay, so the determinant of a minus lambda i is going to be 4 minus lambda, negative 1, 2, and 3, 1 minus lambda, this will be 1 minus lambda, 6 minus lambda, and then we're going to be left with 7, 1, and negative 2. The rest are zeros. So we can do some cofactor expansion here. So this is going to be four minus lambda, and we're going to expand it uh, down the columns. So this will be multiplied by the determinant of one minus lambda, seven, one, zero, one minus lambda, negative two, and zero, zero, six minus lambda. So cofactor expansion, uh, I'm just doing a shortcut here. So I know these are all going to be zeros, so I just took out the whole column. And I was a little bit lazy with notation, but if you do this yourself and do it a little bit slower, you'll see that this is the result that we get. Okay, so now let's do cofactor expansion across this column here. So we're going to get four minus lambda multiplied by, well, it's gonna be one minus lambda times the determinant of one minus lambda, negative two, zero, and six minus lambda. So at this point, uh, we find the determinant of this two by two matrix. So it's going to be four minus lambda times one minus lambda. This will be one minus lambda times six minus lambda, and then minus negative two times zero, which is zero. So we're left with four minus lambda times one minus lambda squared times six minus lambda which gives us the eigenvalues four, one, one, and six. So if this one minus lambda squared, really it just has the eigenvalue one, but we say this is with multiplicity two. So this means that it appears as an eigenvalue twice. So it's multiplicity two. Okay, so that's how we find eigenvalues with determinants and characteristic equations. So pretty straightforward. There's really not that much to it. So let's introduce something else really quick here. And this is important 
because if we have two matrices A and B and they're similar, then they're going to have the same characteristic polynomials. So what does similar mean? Well, A is similar to B. If we can say B is equal to P inverse AP and A is equal to P, B, P inverse for some invertible matrix P. This basically means that we can do a transformation on a vector B and we can do another transformation and then we'll get back to A. So they're similar in that sense. Okay, so if A and B are similar, then they have the same characteristic polynomial. So what, what are we really proving here? Well, we're proving that the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to the determinant of B minus lambda I. Okay, and that'll give us our eigenvalues, or more importantly, our characteristic polynomial. So before we start working with determinants, uh, I want to do some simplification first. So we have A is similar to B, so we're assuming they're similar. So let's write B as P inverse times A times P, okay? So then when we find B minus lambda I, really what we're finding here is P inverse AP minus lambda I. So that's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. But, well, if I wanna factor some stuff out here, I can change I into P inverse P. So maybe that's better for factoring because P is invertible, so P inverse P is going to be equal to I. So at this point, what we can do is we can factor out P inverse from the left. So that's P inverse times AP minus lambda P. And then we can factor out a P from the right side. So it's gonna be P inverse times A minus lambda I times P inverse. Okay, so this is, this is a nice start because now I can write B minus lambda I as P inverse times A minus lambda I times P inverse. So remember here, I wanna show that the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to the determinant of B minus lambda I. Okay, so we can write the determinant of B minus lambda I equal to the determinant of P inverse times a minus lambda i times p. Okay, so what do we know about the determinant of matrices multiplied together? Well, we know that if we have the determinant of a, b, this is just equal to the determinant of a times the determinant of b. So this p inverse a minus lambda i p can be split into the determinant of p inverse multiplied by the determinant of a minus lambda i multiplied by the determinant of p. Okay, so here we have something really nice. We have, of course, that p is invertible. So this means that, I'll write this at the bottom here, this means that p times p inverse is equal to the identity matrix. Now, what is the determinant of the identity matrix? Well, it's the product of all the diagonal entries. So the determinant of the inverse, or sorry, the identity matrix is equal to one, which means that the determinant of P times P inverse should be equal to one, which means that this P inverse and this P are going to cancel. And then we're going to be left with the determinant of B minus lambda I is just equal to the determinant of a minus lambda i, which means that the characteristic polynomial is going to be the same for a and b if they're similar. Okay, so that's the characteristic equation and a proof of characteristic equations being similar for similar matrices. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do the best I can to answer them.